Hello, it's Cal Ewing here. And today I have a fun video I wanted to shoot about uh, one of my favorite games, cash flow, and how it pertains to the way uh, you can view your real life and the way I view my real life. Uh, first of all, rocking my Houston Astros hat. I know it's been a month since the World Series. Man, was that an exciting, awesome World Series. This one here, custom made. Uh, Karma Properties, which is my house buying company. I buy houses. So got my custom real estate Houston Astros hat. Anyways, enough of that. So today I want to talk about one of my favorite games ever, the game Cash Flow. And I haven't played this forever, but this is a game, if you are not familiar, uh, developed by Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, Robert Kiyosaki. Okay. And the whole point of this game is to teach people uh, to change their mindset uh, so that they can start um, building towards financial freedom and making smarter money decisions and investment decisions. Okay. So it's kind of like Monopoly where you go around and you're, the goal is to get your character um, out of the rat race and, and into financial freedom by buying, instead of just buying houses like Monopoly and apartments, um, you're actually buying assets and investing in certain types of deals in order to get financially free. So there's like a whole game board and it's pretty awkward, but anyways, so some of the cards you get in the game, if you're not familiar, I'll just pull one out here. For example, you probably can't see this, but it says duplex for sale. Um, and what it tells you is how much you have to pay in your fake cash that you have in the game. Um, and then how much cash flow you get. So in this, with this duplex card, if you were to buy it, you'd have $400 a month cash flow. And so you'd be $400 uh, closer to your income goal. So each person starts with an income or sorry, expenses. So you might start as a doctor and your monthly expenses might be like, I don't know, five grand a month or something. So then you got to buy enough uh, assets to get your cash flow number so that it's more than your expenses. So you'd have to get to 5,000 say, and this would be get you $500 closer, okay? And I'm sorry if I'm wrong, it's been a long time since I played. Here's another one, a house for sale. If you bought this one, then you'd be get an extra $300 cash flow, okay? So I have really viewed my entire life, my financial life um, since playing this game and getting into real estate um, from the perspective of the cash flow game. and that's one of the reasons why I am really keen on buying mortgage notes, especially non-performing notes. Okay. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to just break down why someone would want to buy a note um, from the framework of this game. Okay. From the framework of, of cash flow and building your monthly passive income or your monthly cash flow that you've got coming in from different assets to get yourself to that financial freedom number. Okay. So I thought it'd be cool. Let's just take let's just take a hypothetical, easy scenario. Okay, so let's just say that there is a home value. This is just a, a regular mortgage amortization calculator. Um, I use this almost every day. There's lots of different ones online, um, but this is just mortgagecalculator.org. Okay, so let's just say there's a home worth 120,000. Okay, someone is ready to buy a home right now. Okay. Let's say that they put 20% down or roughly whatever. I'm just trying to get to a loan amount of a hundred thousand. Okay. So they put 20,000 down. So obviously that's not 20%, but whatever. Okay. The loan amount is going to be a hundred thousand. So a bank, let's say it's like Wells Fargo. They go to Wells Fargo, they get a mortgage for a hundred thousand to buy their home. Okay. And this website just gives you the going rate. Um, not exactly sure how they determine it, but every week it seems to be a little bit different as interest rates change. So right now they're saying that the average rate is 6.7. So we'll just keep it at that, okay? So they're paying 6.7% on their mortgage. It's a 30 year mortgage. And let's just say it started in November of 2022 because right now it's the last day of November, okay? All right. I'm going to keep all of the property tax, mortgage insurance, home insurance, HOA. I'm going to keep all that at zero. And then I'm going to calculate. And I'm also just going to show the monthly amortization table as well. So I'm just going to hit calculate. And now what it will show is how much that home buyer is paying on their mortgage. Okay, So they're going to be owing the bank just for principal and interest only. 
they're going to owe the bank every month $645.28. Okay. And that, I guess, would be 16.6% down payment. All right. So that's that's the scenario. Okay. Now let's assume that something happens to this these home buyers in the next year, whether it's a divorce or maybe a spouse, one of the spouses passes away, financial hardship, they lose their job or something, and they stop paying on their mortgage. Okay. Um, many different reasons why that might happen. So let's say they owe the original hundred thousand plus an extra ten thousand in late payments and fees and everything. So let's go one hundred and ten thousand is the unpaid balance on this mortgage. Okay, and the bank wants to sell it, and they're willing to sell this off at a discount so that they can get their money back and basically lend it again on something that is performing. Okay, really dumbing this down, but I want to keep things like really simple so you guys can really grasp this concept. Okay. All right, so 110,000 is owing to this bank. Well, what if we could make an offer for 50%? Actually, let's, let's make it a little bit more reasonable. Let's go 60%, okay? So we're able to, we make an offer to buy this mortgage note for 66,000, okay? And as we said, the monthly payment coming in, which they're not paying right now, but the monthly payment on this loan, this is 45.28, okay? So annually, that's how much they'd be paying. If they were paying, that's how much they'd be paying per year, okay, to, to the lender. Well, what if we could work with that borrower, we buy the note, and then we contact the borrower and we figure out how we can get them paying again, okay? So we might have to modify the terms, um, just figure out a way to get them going again. Maybe we could um, forgive the amount that they're owing that they're late on and just get them paying again uh, and put that, that amount that they are behind, put that at the end of the mortgage and modify the mortgage. There's lots of things we can do, okay? But we want to get this borrower paying their mortgage again, okay? So let's say that we are successful. So we buy the note for 66000 We get the borrower paying again. And now we are earning $7,743 a year in cash flow or payments coming in right well that original mortgage was 6.7 percent so but the fact that we paid 60 percent of the unpaid balance okay means that our return is not 6.7 it's actually 11.7 return because we didn't pay the full amount owing to buy that mortgage we bought it at a discount okay so what if we could get it for 50 uh, 50 cents on the dollar. Maybe that lender is willing to sell it for 50% of what's owed. Now our return on investment is 14% return. That's an amazing return on investment. Okay. And the great thing is, is because we are the lender, we are the note holder or the bank, that borrower just pays us like you would pay on your mortgage or anyone else would. Uh, we're not responsible for making all the repairs and maintenance on the property like you would if you're a landlord. Uh, we don't have to worry about vacancies, none of that, okay? We're just the lender and we collect payments. And we would do all this through a loan servicing company. So we would actually have a third party that collects the payments, keeps track of all the bookkeeping, um, bank statement or mortgage statements, all of that. So we actually have someone monitoring this for us, doing the book work, and we are collecting this $645.28 per month, okay? So getting back to this cash flow game, my mission, my financial freedom strategy, or one of them, is to go around my <laughs> cash flow game of life as I go, looking at assets, looking at uh, non-performing notes that banks have for sale, and acquiring as many of them as I can, okay? With the goal of increasing this monthly payment number until I reach my financial freedom goal, okay? So that's how non-performing notes could fit into your life scenario if you're viewing your life the same way from a kind of like a cash flow game perspective and of course you could do this with lots of things you could do this by acquiring acquiring rental properties um stock market investing all kinds of different things uh, but this is one asset you might want to take a look at in order to reach your financial freedom number and create that recurring passive income that comes in month after month after month without you having to do a whole lot of extra work once you've got the deal done, okay? Um, 
For those of you that don't really understand how you might want to buy a mortgage note, you don't understand the concept, you don't know what to do, uh, you don't have the time to do it because you've got other things going on in your life. We actually work with uh, people that want to invest their money, sometimes through their self-directed IRA retirement accounts. But we actually work with investors um, and do, do deals with investors out there. Um, and we, we would share in these, in these profits um, in a way that makes sense for both parties and create a win-win so that together we can both get a little bit closer to our financial freedom number. Okay, So if that's something of interest to you, um, there's going to be a link underneath this video feel free to click on it and it'll take you to a, a call page where you can book a call with me. You can schedule a call at a time that works for you and we can discuss this strategy or any other real estate strategy and uh, see if there's a fit that we can work together on future note deals. So uh, until the next video, if you haven't played cash flow, it's super fun. Uh, give it a shot, get your friends together, definitely buy the game and uh, try it out and it might change the way you view your life and your financial life. Um, and if you are familiar with cash flow and you're also on a mission to reach your financial freedom number, definitely look into buying mortgage notes. I'm Cal Ewing and we'll see you on the next video. Take care.